Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Namaste. I am so foolish, girl. I see the God in you. Yes. Let's tap in and see what you need to know. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What are they trying to tell you? Mm. I just feel like you're doing too much. Okay. Yes. That's what they're trying to tell you. They're trying to tell you that. Yes. They're trying to tell you that the world exists outside of your head, Gemini. Okay. We do have the world card here. We have the five of cups. Okay. <laughs> it's not over yet. It's what they want you to know. This is just a cycle. This is just a moment in time that you're going to. All will be revealed. All will be revealed. Yes. You really are loved. You're loved way more than you actually realize that you're loved. And someone really wants to show you love. After a period of just being in the dark, not getting what you want, in a connection, in a relationship, in your job, just not really feeling seen. Yeah, you know, just feeling like, in all actuality, actuality is like, oh, okay, I'm the king, I'm the queen, but then it's like you're getting treated like the help. Look at this. You know, it's like, okay, this argumentative energy, I'm just, <laughs> it's like, don't make me go get my belt. Like, you just, you had to get some things aligned, get some shit in order within your inner soul circle. This really could have had something to do with the past moon cycle is what I'm getting. This past, this, this Scorpio, this, this, um, this full moon in Scorpio, I'm definitely getting the vibe that that's, that for you a lot of a lot of deceptive like <sighs> relationships and connections like came to the front you know came came up emotionally for you and it's like man i'm just hearing like why 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 did you make me like have to do that why why you you're done like you're just so done and you saw someone really get beside themselves could have been just dealing with someone who's really immature someone who like this energy was shocking to you you were shocked by this behavior but it's like it's for your highest good you know also too there is this this sense of self-awareness but of like okay why does this keep happening you know you, you just keep kind of getting heartbroken but now you're starting to see like oh this person or the situation like that they were weak they were not for me they didn't have like we were not seeing eye to eye this is legit i am not i'm not like not today energy okay and enough of that i mean hopefully you're done with that energy hopefully you understand that in a sense it's it's either going to make this relationship stronger or it's going to be the ending of it. I'm getting that whatever this was caused by, it was because you're meant to be with this person. This person is meant to be in your life and you learn that you're learning that you're meant to nourish whatever this is that you're doing. Whatever this is that you've had these like cycles with, that you keep going through these situations with. Could be any sign. We do have really strong Libra. We have really strong Taurus. We also have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Really strong Leo. Sagittarius, Scorpio. Okay, so yeah. And you know, could be dealing with another Gemini, Aquarius or Libra energy is coming through. It's just like, those sleepless nights, those sleepless nights, 
this person can't deal with it anymore. It's just like they can't whatever you said to them, whatever the conversation, it, it, there was definitely a conversation where you you got out of your body, but it was for a higher purpose, a higher cause. It was literally to create love. So, yeah, if you if you feel like you are the one who's losing sleep over the situation it's like you gotta pause for a second and be like okay jim and i right you're always searching for your person and it's like you found your person or at least really huge similarities or compatibilities in comparison so if you're losing sleep and you might feel as though you said something that was off and that's for some of you yeah this could literally be what you need to bring your family back home or bring that energy of stability it's like someone really being honest about something that was said and they're losing sleep over this situation so it could be you or this person but i just feel like this is really strong familiar energy taurus virgo capricorn energy there is true love i feel to be established reconciled really strong reconciliation and i'm just feeling like if you if you are harmonious yeah they're saying that if you are harmonious then that is what you're going to receive you're going to receive harmony it might not be something that you're originally willing to work at because in the beginning it's kind of like maybe maybe this started so good and it was so great taurus virgo capricorn energy coming through it started so great and then all of a sudden it just all this responsibility that you weren't expecting but then maybe you realize that you need it at that time I'm hearing like don't worry about the house don't worry about the finding you know being on the same page like literally when you find yourself then that gem and i i don't know why i keep hearing this this is so <laughs> this is so outlandish okay on a spiritual level for me that's such a that's such a download right there it's like you're you're don't worry about it because it just wasn't for you like the timing was just off and also this could just be a cycle it could be a period where it's like you've achieved all of this or you've like amassed all of this you know success in certain areas of your life but it's like that perfect ending to the happy story is the part that's missing well i feel that you know they're saying Mm. the best is yet to come let go of the control issues let go of that and also let go of like controlling women in your life <laughs> i'm sorry that's literally what i just heard that's what i heard let it go so if it's you the one who's creating you know or it's someone else around you, like with those control issues, like, okay, we do not need that. I mean, this could be men, you know, we could be talking, you know, feminine energy versus masculine energy. I think it's so important, right? And trust that the perfect match is so, perfect 
and like impeccable. And I'm hearing Demi Moore. I mean, honestly, I really don't even talk like that. I promise you, I do not. Okay. Hmm. Maybe someone's into fashion or something like that. Um, this is a power couple. And even if this isn't a power couple, this is like the perfect angelic, holy, you know, it's like your conscious is so on point and you're so in sync with your soulmate, you don't even realize it. Like if you're getting rid of someone from the past, if you're if you're letting someone go, if you're letting some you've dropped this and like your emotions are in check, you know intuitively and you feel this bond and you feel this connection. I just feel like this is a romantic connection, but it's also <coughs> like you're a throat chakra being, being blasted open with that right person. This could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Could be any sign. All of these endings and all of this back and forth and not being able to speak up and say what the hell you need to say. Those days are over. The perfect balance. The perfect person. I just love the, the king of pentacles. There is this person that's like coming in that is just like. If you have been focusing on this energy, maybe you already already have this around you, but it's just like they're so dependable and they care about you and they show up for you. They show up and they show out. But at the same time, you can't figure this person out because it's like they kind of say one thing and they do another. But they always show up for you. So it's like maybe they are kind of shy but then like they're like flashy in another way you know this person that's coming in is they're gonna teach you a lesson a strong lesson about you know channeling the energy between your heart and between your heart and your mind so whatever this is, guys, if you feel like you need to apologize, if you feel like you went too far, if you feel if you're seeing those red flags and it's just not aligning, it's not it's not feeling harmonious. If you feel like your intuition is off about someone or something, it's like you have this harmony and then it's like the chaos is on the outskirts of this greatness then you already know it's time to get out of your head and get in to your heart you know and your head you know what i'm saying that's the wave that's the vibe that's the frequency gemini 